Hey guys, let's make some power coins. Direct link to everything you guys need for this, right in the video description, right below the video. All right, take your clay. This is all you do. Break off a little piece of clay, about that big, as big as you want, really. I mean, the coins should be really small if they're supposed to be five inch scale, but mine are bigger. So I'm just doing that. Or go like that. You could even kind of, I know some people do that on the table. I've got wax paper down here. So you're just making a ball and then you flatten it with your fingers. So you're already almost done. How easy is that? I've got some tools I use for clay, but you don't necessarily need these, but they're good to have. So I'm just doing that. And there you go. Now, what if you don't have this? You don't want to buy art tools. All right, try again. What else might you have around the house that would do that? Well, top of paint, it works. Here's a pen I stole from the hotel. It works. Here's a pencil. I have to do a little bit differently, but it works. Elmer's glue, the, the tip to that, it works. So, you know, sometimes you have to be creative. Okay, so let's make our shape again. If your hands are dirty, you're gonna get the clay dirty. So if you want it to be one solid color, make sure your hands are clean. You could call it done, but if you wanna be a little fancier, take a tool or something that you might have around the house. Direct link in the video description if you guys want any of this stuff. I'm just making little marks like that because when you do that, the more indents you have, uh, the more you're gonna be able to bring out detail when you dry brush it. So now I've made like uh, just these little indents. You can take a sharper tool and just make those little lines that are actually in the coins. Bake at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. No, I didn't do that, okay. So I put these in my toaster. I think it's at like 450. I put these in there for less than a minute and then that was good enough. Once you bake the clay, it's hard. I did one that was solid pink and then I did one that is this kind of brownish, oops, golden-ish color. What are they calling it? Oh, they, they do call it gold, okay. It is kind of gold. I'm gonna take my gold. And I'm just gonna paint. All right, now take silver. You really don't want a lot of this on your brush. And then, look at that. See, it's already all the details coming out now. Maybe a little bit of black. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of keep playing with it until you get the look you want. Got this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic stuff, direct link in the video description. Then you just put a tiny drop like that and there. It's a little bit like if you wanted to use casting resin, but this is just easier. Same idea, it's gonna dry clear and hard. Let's use some glitter. All right. Isn't that pretty? You can use like a toothpick or something if you don't have the tool I'm using. Just kind of stir it out, stir it around. Or a pen or a pencil. You know, anything like that. You could probably put even more glitter in there, which I think I might do. All right, now we have a little mini movie coin. So they actually do make glow-in-the-dark clay. This clay does glow. This could be like another Green Ranger coin. Let's see what happens. I put the hole all the way through. Take my Mod Podge. Will it stay if I do that? Okay, so now this should dry transparent. I mean, casting resin is probably the better way to go. What about some green glow-in-the-dark powder?
Now you're ready to bury your coins. And there are all sorts of different ways to go about doing this. The way I just showed you isn't necessarily the right way, or the only way I should say. This one is still drying, but it worked. I can actually see through here. So the Mod Podge, you can, you can uh, put it in the hole and it'll be clear. While I'm here, I wanted to share some art Ruby sent me from the UK. Here's Time Force, Ninja Steel, and Dino Charge. And look at that, Ruby did like a Legend War quarry, quarry display. Focus, hang on. Really nice job on that. All right, I'm gonna end here because we are working on other stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. I will always be back soon with many good videos and good night.